Hello and welcome back to Demon's Souls, where today we are still in the Swamp of Sorrow, experiencing lots of sorrow. You may notice, I don't have very many souls, and my bloodstain's not over there. I have died here many times, and I lost all those souls once because I tried to go too fast and got too many friends who were too mean to me in the muck, where I could not dodge. It was a bad time. Uh, I've died to those giants over there six times, and I'm not going to bother with that anymore. There's one time where I got three of them down, but then the last one I got my toes into the muck and couldn't dodge. Because, like, if you're just a smidge too far, yep, you don't dodge, you just do this. Even when you're back on the part where you were able to dodge earlier. Yeah, this is a great dodge, isn't it? Especially because it uses my stamina. But yeah, like, we can dodge just fine from there right now, but if we get in the deep part, no. So yeah, I am uh, not going to bother with that for now, because there's a ledge above them, and I bet I could probably just take them out with a bow. And that way I wouldn't have to enjoy the swamp so much. Oh, does it? I wonder how many places the true demon souls starts. Also, I'm sorry, did did my camera just force me to pan so far down that my halberd bounced off the ground? Also, oh boy, there's a bunch of these slugs. Grab that. Get to land. Oh, hello. I thought I killed all the slugs on this island. Right, soul remains are a thing, aren't they? Um, as you can see, I used a bunch of my noble's lotuses. And also some of my black pine resin. Yeah, soul remains. You use those and it lures uh, enemies. So that's where we came from. So if we go that way, looks like there's a fog gate. Also something green. But there's an item over there. I like items. And they say try soul remains. It looks like it's uh, definitely surrounded by slugs. I do not know how far those go. And the answer is not far. But, looks like it does get the slug's attention. Okay, we got a chunk. Ooh, the soul remains don't last that long. But, when they're out there, we can probably clean up a little bit here. At least the slugs don't hurt very much. There's a few more than I would like, though, and it looks like more falling in. Is this just... Do they spawn permanently? I know there's supposed to be something where there's like a slug nest, and if we attack it, we can get past it and get some cool item. Is, is, this, is this it? Do we just kill slugs forever? Oh, so we throw the soul remnants at a target. Neat. How how many souls can I farm here? I know they're not worth much each, but... Okay, um, when they're attacking me from all sides, it's bad. I am... I'm trapped. Uh, get... I was going to say get grass in mouth before die, but I rolled into the goop and I had to do that little, ugh, I can't move my feet. I hate that animation with every ounce of my being. But yeah, definitely, uh, I, I don't believe that we can exhaust the slugs there. 
Certainly not when we're standing right where they fall down and can thus get surrounded. Getting surrounded by anything is bad. As we've just seen, and now we get to watch this run back again. I apologize for that. Yeah, eventually we might be able to get to that ledge over there, which looks like it leads above where all the giants were. Buddies, hey, don't be rude. We got time. And when we got time, miracles are good. So I feel like there's fewer of these jellyfish things that are actually enemies than there used to be. Like, I actually don't see any of them bobbing around, which is the sign that they're alive. Do they just not respawn across deaths? Because I know I killed a bunch the first time, but I've never seen that many again since. And then also I tried to farm up some more lotuses by killing all the ones I could find earlier off camera. And now I'm just not seeing any more. So maybe they don't respawn. So that giant up there has in fact killed me. Specifically because I tried to go too close to the island and all his little friends managed to stun me. Oh, right. We, we can't roll because we're in the swamp. I hate everything about this place. Yeah. His little buddy stunned me and then he whacked me over the head with his club while I was in the goop. We're already poisoned, so it doesn't matter if we run through the swamp. I wonder, are there bugs chasing us? Not that I can see. There are bugs in front of us. We could use our arrows to deal with them, but honestly, they're not really that big of a threat as long as we don't let them grab us. That helps if I actually... Go somewhere we can stand. There. And we even get some marrow stone. What just died? And how did it die? It always weirds me out when I get souls for nothing. You know what? Let's stay poisoned for a bit. And let's give this slug some soul remains. There you go. Have fun with that, friends. And let's purge a few. Now, I'm not going to stick around forever, because that's a fool's errand. What does this say? Enjoy the detour. There's a detour? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, hello. What are you doing way over here? Actually, I guess there used to be a bunch of slugs on this here island. Whoops. Yeah, weren't there, like, four slugs on this island before? But now there's none? Do they all just come from over there over time? Is that what it is? 
the ones that spawn in slowly make their way over here? Seems like that's the probable answer. And just to check whether this is in fact the area in which we are meant to uh, smack something that makes more slugs or something near the slug maker. Just gonna give these walls a few cursory whacks. Gonna get poisoned again. When did I stop being poisoned the first time? Gonna have some spice. And then we're gonna be on our merry way. Bad time for rolling? I mean, you're right. What did you die for? Oh, attacked by slugs, perhaps? I heard something that sounded like something large. Oh, there are some large things. What are the green dudes? Why are they green? Also, I, I guess since that spirit was flattened, he's probably fighting these big fellas. I don't want to fight two of them at the same time. I just don't. So I'm going to attempt to fight but one. Um, don't know why you had to swing at whatever that was. Trying to make sure that we keep him solidly enough on solid ground that I don't get into the muck where I cannot dodge. Because if I cannot dodge, I cannot survive a fight with this jerk. Because my mobility is the one thing that lets me live here. Ooh, six nobles lotuses. Very nice. And you, sir. Let's play. Wonder what's the deal with that pathing? Like they don't even attempt to come straight for me. Got him. There we go. At least I'm getting used to fighting them as long as I've got the ability to roll or to move around at speed. I don't trust you even a little bit. Like, that's got to be either poison or plague, right? Ooh, I see something over there. Congratulations for what? Looks like going through that fog wall might take us over to here, which might lead to the upper ledge. That's my thinking. But I can't well leave this path alone when I've seen an item at the end of it. Slug. Bugs. I'm sorry, did one of these little mosquitoes just destroy an entire wooden scaffolding? Oh, there's more of them. Or rather, there are more of them, because grammar. Well, soul tendency isn't black, so I still get this. Yeah, what's this going to say? Gee, thanks. 
wonder what's over there. Because that looks like a message. Is it going to be a... Did you think there would be a hint? Yep. That's exactly what it is. Well, I don't see anything else of value out here, so... Let's get back on dry land. Munch on a lotus. And then come on up here where we know to expect at least one slug. The danger zone? Why is this the danger zone? Is it because of that single slug? Or is there something more? I mean, I imagine there must be something more. Darn wide swings. All right. Oh, there's another slug. Truly, this is the danger zone. There have been two slugs. I wonder how many slugs you need to kill for the PS5 to start lagging. Ooh, I spy an item. These slugs have got some teeth. That's not a usual thing that you say about slugs. Okay, I'm going to need a different weapon. Uh, I bet they don't like fire. They really don't like fire. Ah, this has to be the slug nest. Oh, and this is right above where the other slugs were, isn't it? So I'm supposed to keep attacking this until it does that. Bye, slug. And now I can grab this. Legendary. But also, there's supposed to be somewhere I can get past this, or below it, or something. Somewhere relative to here is something that is good. That much I know. Oh, can't go up this ledge. Gotta check for illusory walls just in case. It's entirely possible that what I am looking for is, in fact, that item down there. In fact, it's almost certainly that item down there. Which looks like it might be on an elevated ledge that I have to drop to. Yeah. So, I wish this place was better lit. I wonder, can I target that writhing mass of slugs from up here and just firebomb the lot of them? The answer seems to be no. So how can I get onto that ledge? I can't, like, see the exact dimensions of it. Or whether we could drop to it from here. Can we? Hard to tell. Oh, but there's this. And from here, we might be able to roll to it. Oh, the, the ledge is big. That helps. Okay, that's just an unknown hero soul. Maybe that really shiny thing is what I want. Do I have fire bombs that I can use? I wish I could target the slugs from here, but... I cannot, but maybe. Okay, that's not quite as much damage as I was hoping for. But let's still toss the other one. Why did that hit even fewer slugs despite me aiming, like, more at them? 
Thankfully, they flinch real good when you catch them on fire. Oh, the... Yep, this is the thing I wanted. Okay, I need this. Need health number go up. So yeah, the slugs were all amassed around this here weapon, which I wanted. Because it's just the coolest weapon in the game. There's a reason they brought it back in every Souls game since. Whoops, we're in the poison. Yep, we got us a large sword of moonlight. We need more faith to equip it, which, you know what? I'll do that. I want to equip this thing. Because it's just super cool looking. You know what? Let's do this for now. Alright, so this... No signs of demons. Alright. So, we could drop into the muck, but I don't see any benefit to doing so just yet. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, I know you. Is this where you live? My poor child is sick. He needs your help. I've already bought things, but what are you selling? I mean, more rotten arrows wouldn't be terrible. Well, I've already got all this armor. I started off with it. Those seem useful, but... Not worth the price. And dang, this is some expensive ore. But yeah, I guess. For your poor little son. We can buy some rotten arrows. There. Finished already? I only want my dear boy to be happy. I just gave you 8,000 souls. Do you know how many levels that can buy him? If he's as sick as you say he is and he is not a high level, then it's a lot. But if he's as sick as you say he is and he is a high level, well, then he could probably get not sick anymore all by himself. Come on, lady. That's just science. Oh. You would approach me. Okay. Let my shield down a little too early. Alright, so it takes the same number of swings to kill these jerks with this sword as with my halberd. And the sword not only swings faster, it flinches them harder. Why do I have a halberd again? Also, why are these guys allowed to survive with, like, 1 HP when they are literally on fire? Oh, we got some greenies. Oh, hello. So... Uh a backstab is fatal. Why are there so many of you? I mean, I guess this is the town where you live, but... 
Why are there so many of you anyway? Alright, let's come over here, grab whatever this is. Neat. If I ever needed a sign that there's gonna be plague, like, say, from these greenies. So that item, am I supposed to roll from here? This item I'm clearly supposed to drop. So let's do that now. Oh, that's a lot. And we can get right back up, which is nice. So, these fellas, how am I to get to them? Because clearly... Why is, why is my controller vibrating? My controller was doing little pulsating vibrations at me, and I don't know why. And I don't appreciate that. It's happening again. What's going on? Oh, hey, fella. Well, that's him. I, I heard a somebody. I see a somebody. There. Oh, more somebodies. And yet there's still so many things that we have not grabbed. Is it just me, or did I shove my sword into the space to the right of his hip and give it a twist? And somehow that killed him. Yeah, item down below. There's a lot of things that we have not grabbed on the way here. I would very much like to grab them. But some of them were in, like, above places, and it looks like this will finally take us to above places. Where are you going? You gonna come down? You sure are. Oh boy, more Noble's Lotuses. Okay, so let's try and take this here upper path. See how far back we can go. See how many places we can find dudes who would almost certainly ambush us if we went past them without dealing with them. I mean, sure, they might just be hanging out in their hovels not wanting any trouble. But when they're dropping late moon grass... And armed with knives? Yeah, I, I can't just walk on by and assume that they'll be cool. Okay, so now we're up here. And you, sir, glow too much for my liking. Got him. Spicy. So there is an item. Looks like it's in the muck, though. There's also an item directly below me. But there's also an item over there. But it looks like, yeah, I would have to roll from the other side to get that. Doesn't look like it would be reachable from here because there's stuff in the way.
So there's an item. How does one get to that? By just dropping right here, by the look of it. Oh, hello. Goodbye. You gonna come down here? Well, he can stay there for a moment. And I guess now I must go join him. And unfortunately, it seems it's a fairly long path to get back to where we first got up on top. But at least we got this grass jelly. I hear someone walking around. Is there someone else in the muck? Not that I can see. So if there is someone else, they probably don't matter? What's this? Oh, trying to inform me about the dude who was there. So there's a variety of items below us, it seems. There's also a variety of just things in general around. There you go, buddy. Scissors? Are they suggesting that there's a pincer attack to be had here? Or is there some sort of boss with scissors through here? Because I don't see enough dudes to execute a pincer attack. So, there were items below. Were they all the way below? Like, do I have to drop down into the muck? Maybe. Looks like yes. Alright, let's head this way then. Can I... Okay, good, I can pick myself up. This is filthy, you're right. But how do I get over there? Looks like go up, then over? Looks like actually being down in the muck... Doesn't have much advantage, but then again, there's... Wait, this side... Okay, good. This item is down here. Wait, exceeds weight capacity? So, well, weighs four. Okay, so that's some grass that I sent to storage. That's fine. <coughs> and it's more of the same. Is this another, did you think there'd be a hint? Oh, it's lies. Yep. Nothing to tell the truth about there. Oh. So we can get up out of the muck for no reason. Cool. Ground's too slippery to get any further. Hello? There we go. And get rid of the poison. Then let's try and get up onto that. Yeah, if we can lower that bridge to the beginning and it stays lowered, that would be fantastic. 
Oh, hello. You can stay down there. Yep, there's them. Oh, hello. Okay, so if memory serves, you gotta wear one of the rings that reduces detection range or something uh, in order to actually snipe dudes to death. Also, let's get out a bow so that we can attempt to snipe dudes to death. Okay, fine. You don't want to get shot again? I'll shoot your buddy. Oh. Don't know where he's going. Can't even see very well. You know what? I'll do that off camera. Save this on camera work for actually accomplishing things that are visible. Feel kind of bad for burning the corpse. Hanging out outside my reach, bug. All right, so that glow, I believe, is from the lizard. Hopefully it doesn't spot me and take off while I'm dealing with these jerks. Buddy, get over here. I like how there was just an arrow sticking out of his head. You want to maybe hurry it up? Oh, I guess I am wearing the ring that makes me harder to detect. Oh, maybe that'll work for the lizard. Looks like it worked for the lizard. There. We have a shortcut. We don't have to go through there ever again. Oh, that is just lovely. Also, is this the first, like, actual shortcut we've found in this entire game? I think it might be. But such is life. And I do believe we will end this episode right here. And between episodes, I will rain arrows down upon these jerks. Exacting my revenge. And then we'll start next episode seeing what they were guarding. See you then, friends.